How are things with the girlfriend? Things going good. Speaking of my girlfriend though, while the overwhelming majority of people have been very supportive of me spending time with her and, and doing other things in the real world, some people haven't been so. This comment stood out to me because the person took the time to at me on Twitter. I, I, don't, I don't read hate comments all that much, but if you at me, I will probably see your comment, right? So this person named Narkul says, Imagine you were once an awesome and great GT5 content creator named Dark Viper AU, adding me, until you finally got a girlfriend in your life, and now you can't really do anything but bore your audience with just stories about your girlfriend, which nobody cares about. I mean, reading the comments on those stories, there's a lot of people who really do care about it. But, like, even if you felt these feelings, what kind of asshole would express them? This motherfucker over here, being happy, doing things, how dare he do these things? Like, because I can understand people feeling that way. If they, they, they aren't interested in this or they feel like I'm not making as much content and feeling disappointed, I can totally understand feeling that way, but expressing it <laughs> and adding me on Twitter to tell me it. Very strange. Typically, I have so much stuff that hasn't been edited that there was heaps of content coming out that <laughs> you don't have to worry. I'm still working out the work-life balance of uh, how to manage things. But to this tweet, I said, now this is the A-grade bitter hater energy I can get behind. Bravo. Because it was just on next level hater energy. What surprised me though was I think this guy went to sleep after tweeting this because I drew attention to his tweet, right? It got 83,000 views. So obviously it got some comments from my viewers, 76 of them. And so he says to all these comments, God forbid content creators these days are criticized for their recent content, but you are indirectly revealing how truly toxic their followers are. Nowhere have I said that I hate Dark Viper AU, but criticism from a viewer is immediately met with hate by his toxic fans. Apparently, that old adage of takes one to no one does not apply here. That wasn't criticism, that was the most toxic fucking shit I've ever goddamn seen. You shouldn't be surprised that when you come to a party with toxicity, people are going to be toxic back. And I'll be real with you, I don't think people are that toxic to him. As Vader says here, he is happy, so as we are sometimes, it's not about the content, it's about life of the creator. For someone to fall so low to hating on a man who has a girlfriend, I've been watching Matt for like two to three years now, and I still remember him talking about his loneliness. Now that he has someone, I and most people will agree we are here for him and have nothing against his stories. Now I want to highlight this one because I am not, nor have I ever been, lonely. This is a common misconception that people have when I talk about how I might not have close friends or, or whatever. Like I have a lot of work friends or, or people that support me that I, or I can talk to in DMs and ask favors of and people I hang out with and stuff and blah, blah, blah. I might have maybe two people you could call close friends at this stage. When I talk about these things, people assume that I must be like dying of loneliness inside. But that's not true. I'm a person who is an independent person who likes that kind of loner life. I don't need 57 people around me to feel satisfied and happy. Like, Aitana has hundreds of friends, it seems. She's got she, her little schedule or whatever. Is, it's just constant dinner dates and, and this person's doing this and this person's doing this. And, and I'm, just looking at it, I'm looking at this going, I'm happy this is great for you, Aitana. I'm happy this makes you satisfied. But this is stuff that I would avoid like the plague under normal circumstances. Don't get me wrong. Lovely people. I've met a lot of them now. But this is just not the sort of life that I wanted to ever develop for myself. I didn't lose my friends of the past through doing something or something. I just had no interest in maintaining those relationships. And so they just slowly faded away because most of them were very toxic motherfuckers. So you've heard me talk about myself being alone, but you won't traditionally hear me saying, I am lonely, oh my God, I want friends. Because if that were the case, I would have just made some because I'm a very persistent person who, if they have a problem, would doggedly pursue it. It's in the same way that when I talked about going on my date with Aitana and how my sister said, hey, I have this friend named, named Atana that um, is, is into you. She's interested in dating you. My response wasn't, oh my God, finally, my loneliness will be cured. Oh, I can finally go on a date with a woman. My, my response was, eh, I mean, maybe. Is, is this really worth it? Because I wasn't looking for a relationship. I wasn't, I didn't have some deep seated loneliness that I was trying to cure. I had gone out on dates in, in the past. I'd had relationships in the past. I had had friendships, uh, of course, many, many friendships because I had my group of toxic motherfuckers back in the day. And I just wasn't interested in that at this stage in my life, being 33 years old and running a business, you know, worth millions of dollars or whatever. And I've, having so many people rely on me and stuff. It, it, it just coincidentally, it turned out that I kind of happened to be an amazing, wonderful person. Smart, funny, driven, likes, she likes doing the things that I don't like doing. And I, I really lucked out. Like, I don't think my skepticism of that 
just coincidentally the first person I date in so many years happens to be so perfect it was unwarranted, right? But yeah, I hear this so often that I was a lonely motherfucker or something rather than just a person very driven in their career who was fine being a loner. I think to some degree people like take their own feelings of loneliness and assume I must be feeling them as well. Not understanding that when you're in your 30s, it's a very different thing from being like 18 or 20 or something like that, right? And, and being a famous YouTuber with hundreds of thousands, millions of people who, who like you and support you and say nice things about you and, and having a, a wonderful dedicated team of people who help me with all kinds of things, programming, writing, editing, all my moderators helping me with stuff. This large group of people that I, I, I can trust to varying degrees for, for different things that I want of them. I, I, like there are people who have my passwords for my social medias. I've just given them to them. I've got like, like a dozen people who have editor access for, for most of my channels. My, my mods know where I live and know my phone number. When you have this sort of support network that is not traditional in terms of like, I can't call one of these people and say, hey, let's go to the movies. But having that is a significant thing and, and, and has been very wonderful in my life. All these people are great. And so this idea, again, of Dark Viper EU is lonely, is just without any basis. Most of the time when I spoke about, for example, not have, being in a relationship, it was in part questioning whether I was correct to not be that interested in these things. And that, you know, five years down the line, I'd be even older than I am now, and I'd be less equipped to date and, and, and find these people and stuff. Because generally speaking, it is far easier to, to find friends or close friends, uh, people with your similar interests around you, and, and a, a long-term partner when you're younger. Like, you, you, you want to do that in your 20s, ideally. There's an expression, which is probably implied to say, but it did apply to me, is if you haven't found someone by the time you hit 30, something has gone wrong. Either that or you just haven't tried. I know that's implied to say, but usually it happens by, by the time you're 30 if you're actually pursuing it. So I kind of went all over the place with that ramble, but uh, I hope you get what I'm saying. I'm sorry to everyone who's disappointed that I'm not able to do as much, but as time goes on, I think you'll find that having Aitano in my life will actually be of benefit in terms of me being able to make better content and more stuff. Yeah, so things are going good for me, and I'm sorry if I've led any of you to any misconceptions. And to be clear, no one hate on this Nanako dude. I assume he's got stuff going on in his life, and maybe I shouldn't have highlighted this comment and, and given him such negative attention. I just found it really funny. Stop! Now that I have your attention, hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you. I wish you all the best.